The term working mom is taking on new meaning for Julie Cederbaum, Good job. whose job during the safer at home order now includes overseeing math lessons and PE class, in addition to teaching her social work courses at USC. There's times of the day where I feel like I'm really doing I'm doing this really well and there's times where I feel like I want to run screaming down the street and I think that that's probably a fairly normal experience. Julie happens to be an expert in parent child communication, something that's coming in very handy now that her family's home and work slash school lives have blended. She says it's crucial during this unprecedented time to understand how a child or teen is feeling and let them express it, especially when it comes to a sense of loss over their normal life and social gatherings. Allowing their kids to mourn and allowing their kids to be frustrated because I think even as adults, we're mourning our social connections. Julie is a fan of creating a routine with her kids, especially one centering around their school lessons, but says it's equally necessary to allow for flexibility, for social opportunities, even if they're virtual, and for any issues that arise. Julie expects a big issue for many parents will be explaining the need for extending this time at home if quarantines continue, just as we all start to get a little stir crazy. It's much harder for young people to think about the consequences it's just not what their brain is wired to do. And so as adults, these uh, stay at home or social distancing pragmatically makes a lot of sense. We understand, we understand why, but for our kid brains, that's just doesn't, it doesn't make sense, right? We, we live as kids in a world of invincibility. And so that's really hard to process. When it comes to coronavirus, Julie doesn't advise parents to volunteer overwhelming facts or statistics and instead be prepared to answer questions and create an open space for dialogue. She doesn't share all her thoughts and feelings with her kids and instead reserves that for after play and school time with fellow parents. It's really important that we reach out and that we um, scaffold ourselves with, with our support networks and that we're talking about our feelings and our stresses with other adults outside of the range of hearing of our children because it's a lot to put on our kids. Adjusting to a new normal while putting years of professional expertise to good use and keeping fellow parents calm in the middle of this storm.